Good morning friends and good morning saints. Let's go for a quick walk this morning and enjoy that beautiful sunshine. It's kind of remind you of yesterday. Well, let's go do it again, all right? Beautiful morning this morning. And God is so good. Wow. My little neighborhood. And just a super short little walk down to the river here. Trust you all are having a good day so far. Uh, please do let us know if there's anything specifically we can pray for or if you have any needs. Uh, we would love to reach out to you. But uh, you do need to let us know. And uh, so please do. All right. Don't hesitate. Uh, we should be here for each other. And uh, that's kind of my, my thinking this morning, the devotional this morning was all about, you know what, during this time, one thing we can definitely all be doing is praying for each other. And I hope you've been praying for us and for the church leaders and for the rest of the family there and for others that you know. This is really a time for us to be praying for each other, to uphold each other, because uh, we're all going through stuff, every single one of us. And uh, that brings us to the scripture for today. Uh, God's laid on my heart, Second Thessalonians chapter 2, the very last verse. Uh, I've got my, uh, my trusty little phone here, and I've got the Bible app on it. And uh, so let me read to you Second Thessalonians 2, and it's the very last two verses, actually, 16 and 17. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who loved us and by his grace gave us eternal encouragement and good hope, encourage your hearts and strengthen you in every good deed and word. All right, so that's my prayer for you today. And I'm going to challenge you to uh, maybe grab a directory of a list of all your friends and uh, maybe take some time today to pray for your friends. And would you pray for that, that their hearts would be encouraged and strengthened today. All right, so may the Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and by his grace gave us eternal encouragement and good hope, encourage your hearts and strengthen you in every good deed and word. All right, so let's pray for each other today. Let's really make this part of our to-do list today to very intentionally pray for one another. And interestingly, if you know me, I'm always about the context, and I noticed that the, the verse that follows this, which is really cool, uh, he goes on to say, pray for us that the message of the Lord may spread rapidly and be honored, just as it was with you. What a cool thought. As the Lord encourages us and gives us hope, what an awesome privilege we have to then share that encouragement and hope with those around us. I think... People today, I keep hearing it, uh, that people today are more open to the gospel and to the gospel message than uh, they have been in a long time. Because a lot of people are looking for some answers now. So friends, let's uh, make the most of this season. While it is that dark out there and we carry the light, as you have been encouraged, encourage others. As you have been encouraged by the Lord, would you share the Lord with others? This is the time to be bold, to be courageous, and to share the gospel with your neighbors and with your friends and with those that you happen to see from six feet away. All right, so let's make that our goal today. Know that we are being encouraged by the Lord, but also let's share that joy and that encouragement with others. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for another gorgeous day. But Lord, today is gorgeous, not just because the sun that's shining and the birds and the beautiful creation, but God, all of that points us to you. Today is gorgeous because you are present. And so, Father, today we worship you, we honor you, and yes, we serve you today, Lord. And so with the encouragement you've given us, O oh God, please allow us the opportunity to encourage one another. In Jesus' name we pray, with thanksgiving. Amen. God bless you, each one. Be strong and share your strength with others.